account spent our last day in Sapporo walking around the city and exploring the neighbourhood. So first thing first, for the start of the day of course we got to look for food. So we walked about a 10 minutes walk from our hotel and ended up at Coco Curry House for lunch. After we filled our belly, we went to the nearby anime to do some last minute shopping for anime goods as well as souvenirs for our friends. Now, this is where the real walking adventure begins when we decided to walk from our hotel to Sapporo Factory which is a mini outlet mall here in Sapporo and to get there we had to walk through Odori Park and here we get a good look at the Sapporo TV Tower for one last time before we leave the city. Honestly, the 30 minutes walk from our hotel to Sapporo Factory wasn't that bad. The weather was really nice and cool and we did a lot of sightseeing, you know, people watching as we walk along the streets of Sapporo. So it was really enjoyable. You know, if the weather is good and you guys have a slow day in Sapporo, I highly recommend just walking around to your next destination and you know, enjoy taking in the sights that you see as you get there. After 30 minutes of constant walking, we finally saw Sapporo Factory inside and got ready to explore the mall. Although it is unfortunate that we won't be able to spend Christmas in Sapporo, but the malls have Christmas decoration that was so stunning and beautiful, it lets you soak in the entire Christmas spirit. They even have a huge uh, Christmas tree light show where the lights on the Christmas tree changes according to the Christmas songs that were playing. So after enjoying the Christmas light show while having some ice cream, we left the mall and went on a 20 minutes walk's journey to Sapporo Beer Museum where we have our final dinner in Sapporo enjoying some of Sapporo's specialty, Genghis Khan. So basically grilled meat, um, not just any meat but grilled mutton or lamb as you would like to call it.
After all that walking, we finally reached Sapporo Beer Museum where we can enjoy a nice Genki's Khan dinner. So, usually I'm not a fan of lamb or mutton because of its gaminess, but the lamb and mutton here was really good. Um, I couldn't really taste any gaminess at, at all, so you know, if you're someone who is very sensitive to the gaminess of lamb or mutton, I think you can still give Genghis Khan a try here at the Saporubia Museum. So after having quite a spread, we left Saporubia Museum and then took a bus to Odori Park where we alighted and then started walking from Odori Park back to the hotel. On the way back to the hotel, we spotted this really cute bakery and since we have an early morning flight to catch, the next day we decided to get some bread to prepare us for our empty stomach in the morning. Afterwards, we headed to Don Quixote which was right opposite our hotel for some last minute shopping so getting some souvenirs for our friends and families or even just getting stuff that we want to try for ourselves. We spent about an hour or so walking around Don Quixote and finally got the things that we needed and then headed back to a hotel to start packing for our flight. Yep, and that's it for our Hokkaido Sapporo vlog series and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!